CLLSLL is the most common leukemia in the United States and Western countries, with about 15 to 16,000 new cases a year. SLL, when you just look at that entity by itself, is a very uncommon form of lymphoma. But when you put the two of them together, it's, it's a relatively common disease. Most often patients present with CLL, SLL, without any disease-related symptoms. Most patients do not require treatment for their CLL at the time of presentation. And we use a, a management strategy called watch and wait. We follow these patients carefully, checking their blood counts every few months, doing a physical examination every few months. And there are certain indications for treatment, such as bulky or enlarged lymph nodes, or progressive enlargement of lymph nodes, progressive enlargement of the spleen, disease-related symptoms, fevers, chills, drenching night sweats, profound fatigue. Patients may experience anemia or lowering of the red blood count, or thrombocytopenia, lowering of the platelet count. They may experience recurrent infections. Those sorts of features are indications for treatment. But many patients don't require treatment. There are two common forms of treatment that are used in the majority of patients. There is fludarabine plus cyclophosphamide plus rituximab, the so-called FCR regimen, and increasing in popularity is the combination of bendamustine and rituximab. Patients should go on to clinical trials whenever possible. Clinical trials are an opportunity to get the newest drugs before they're ever out on the market to make progress and to receive treatments that are likely to be more effective than those that are available to the general population.